Yo guys, how is it going? I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Welcome to episode 6 of our Manchester United career mode here on FIFA 19. In today's episode, we start with round 3 of the Carabao Cup away at Southend and then we're away once again, but this time in the Premier League against West Ham. Of course, we should easily be beating a team like Southend. Obviously, no disrespect to them whatsoever, but we are Manchester United. But especially in English football, in these sort of competitions, the Carabao Cup, the FA Cup, it doesn't always go the way you think it's going to go. So let's go to Southend and get ourselves through to round four of the Carabao Cup. Lozano on the ball, lays it off here to McTominay on his left foot. Keeper stands still and the first shot of the game comes for us and it goes way over the crossbar. How close was that? Wow, if it was on target, keeper absolutely no chance. That was going right into the top corner. But unfortunately, five minutes gone, the score is still nil-nil. Throw in on the left-hand side, Gomez with it into Pereira. Gomez with the cross and it's going to fall here to Lukaku. Lovely header to McTominay, into Fred, lovely scoop turn onto his right foot, strike from Fred, keeper stood still once again, but this time it hits the back of the net, seven minutes gone, and we have taken an early lead, McTominay out to the right hand side in Lozano, just about gets through to Pereira, it wasn't the pass I wanted, but we have kept possession, right, Damien, into Fred, forward to Lozano, and quietly gets in the way, it was a dreadful pass, from Fred, but we do win possession back. I thought that was a free kick, to be honest. Quite a crunching tackle, but thankfully we are still in possession and it's no free kick. Decent pass into Fred. 4-2 Lukaku out to the right-hand side. Hasn't quite worked out. The defender's done pretty well. 15 minutes gone. And on the ball, South End, as you can see, they've been knocking it around quite nicely, but the final pass for them just isn't there at the moment. And I think that is going to be their struggle in this game, of course, coming up against a club like Manchester United as well. The final pass just isn't going to be there compared to us. Long ball forward for Southend. It's a decent punt forward. And what is the goalkeeper doing? Are you being serious? 39 minutes played. Southend 1, Manchester United 1. It's just a long ball forward. And the keeper comes out for completely no reason. Look. What is he doing? He doesn't even challenge it. He doesn't even challenge to jump up and punch it or catch it. I'm literally speechless. I am literally speechless. 39 minutes gone. It is game back on. Pereira on the ball. Forward to Lukaku. Good interception from the South End man. But Fred has won the ball back. Here we go. Left hand side is Gomez. What an interception. If that got through, surely that was going to be 2-1. And the keeper has punted it, not very far, but Yearwood has done pretty well. Southend's best player in the middle of the park. 49 minutes gone, and to be honest, the goals are probably the only things that have actually happened in this game. It's been not the best, and I'm still not over that goal. I don't know what the hell Romero was doing. He's just, he didn't even come out and punch or try and catch it. He's just literally left it for the Southend player. No Man United player really near him, and he's... Just like, yeah, whatever, you can have it. I ain't going to challenge. I'm going to come out all this way, leave an open goal for you, and I'm not even going to challenge. It just confuses me. I don't understand. Would that have happened in real life? I don't think so. Because if he knew he was making a mistake, he would have kind of tracked back, not run all the way out and just stood there and done absolutely nothing. He would have kind of tracked back or something like that if he knew he made a mistake. But on the game, no. They just come out all the way and do absolutely nothing, and it's an open goal. And you are struggling against a lower league team when you are Man United. Obviously, no disrespect, but we should be easily wiping the floor with teams like this. Obviously, it doesn't always happen, but you should be. That's what I'm trying to say. 25 minutes left. The play just made a double sub. Pogba and Sanchez coming onto the pitch. Hopefully, that double sub can be the difference we need. Obviously, two world class players coming onto the pitch, so hopefully, it can be the difference. Right, here we go. Gomez. Short into Alexis Sanchez. Can we play it here to Pogba? It's a lovely pass. It's sat up so nicely. And it's a decent strike. But unfortunately, it's gone past the post. Wow, it was a lovely pass. The lofted pass. And it's way past the post. It wasn't even close from Pogba. But an instant impact from the two subs. 
Goal kick for Southend and Pogba with the interception. But once again, Yearwood gets in the way. He has been Southend's best player. He's been all over the park. Interception after interception. Tackle after tackle. But here we go. Gomez on the left-hand side. Short into Pogba. Going to play it through here to Sanchez. Now to the right-hand side in Lozano. But the pass was just too weak. Oh, my God. We're actually going to draw against Southend. Obviously, no disrespect to them, but we should be easily beating clubs like this. We are Manchester United. Here we go. Gomez on the left-hand side. We've got a couple of players running into the box. A cross goes in. It's a decent delivery. But once again, it gets cleared away. 15 minutes left to play to try and find a winning goal. Kitely on the left-hand side. Easy tackle here for Valencia. Decent pass into Pogba. Right, can we get an attack going into Sanchez? Going to play it back through to Pogba. It's kind of worked out through the middle. Is Pereira, but Wyatt with a very important interception. Surely if that got through, that was going to be 2-1 with eight minutes left to play. But Southampton, Southampton, South End on the breakaway. What a delivery, Kitely with the header. And it smashes off the post with seven minutes left to play. What a delivery. And it's a very good header. If it was on target, I don't think the keeper would have saved it. Wow. Thank God that smashed off the post and it is still 1-1. Hopper on the right-hand side for Southend. Are they going to whip in another good delivery? He's still on the ball. It's a very good delivery, but thankfully Valencia gets in the way. And are we going to keep it with Sanchez? Nope, they are going to keep this attack alive. One minute left to play. Kitely on the left-hand side. Tries to turn Valencia and thankfully we are going to come away with the ball. Right, one last chance to break away. Nope, there is the full-time whistle. The game is going to penalties, unfortunately. heading into round four of the Carabao Cup and that was a pretty decent penalty shootout from myself to be honest and the young midfielder Gomez getting the deciding penalty as well so up next we have West Ham away from home in the Premier League let's go to London and collect another three points Luke Shaw on the ball, going to spread the play to Jesse Lingard. Pinpoint pass. That is absolutely beautiful from the fullback. Jesse Lingard into Fred. Can we get it into Martial? Turn onto his left foot. It's beautifully done. Martial. Ogbonna with the block. Is it luckily going to fall here to a Man United player? Nope. Sadibe wins it in the air, but he headed it straight to Paul Pogba. Right across from Paul Pogba. What a delivery. It's going to fall here to Milinkovic. Savic. And it's way over the crossbar. 18 minutes gone. And that is the first shot of the game. Goal kick for West Ham. They play it to the right-hand side. And Luke Shaw is going to nick it away from Yarmolenko. A little one-two between the two players. Fred and Luke Shaw. Going to try and spread the play to Jesse Lingard. It's another brilliant pass out to the right-hand side. And Jesse Lingard going to cross it into the back post. Keeper comes. He punches. Who's it going to fall to? It's going to fall to Sanchez. And he gets it forward to Yarmolenko, 22 minutes gone, the last, the first 15 minutes or so were a bit end-to-end -end without chances being created, 
But the last five minutes or so has been all Manchester United. But as I say that, West Ham are going to go up the other end and probably score a goal. Nope. De Ligt gets in the way. 24 minutes gone. And this is the first corner of the game. And it comes for the home side. Last couple of minutes has been their best spell of the game. It's a very good delivery as well. But Milinkovic Savic gets it away only as far as Lanzini. Good save from David De Gea. And it's another corner. I think it was straight at him. But it's such a powerful strike. Good reactions from the Spaniard. Another corner incoming. It's a very good delivery again. And David De Gea again. Getting in the way and keeping the score at 0-0. From the corner, West Ham go. It's another good delivery. Lascelles gets up. Philippe Anderson smashes it off the crossbar. Oh, my God. I thought that was going to be 1-0. And the West Ham man has played it straight to Fred. Can we break away and get the opening goal of the game? Over the top here to Lukaku to run onto. He's going to get on the end of that pass. Lukaku's going to be one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper on his right foot. And it's a dreadful finish. It's a dreadful finish from Lukaku. That should have been us taking the lead. It's a brilliant chance. Luke Shaw on the left-hand side, short into Fred. Now Malinkovic, Savage, Akurla to the top corner. It's a decent effort. Keeper just watched it go over the crossbar and it hits the roof of the net. How far over was that? Lukaku ducking. I don't know why. It was nowhere near you, mate. Oh, that was so close. Keeper, like I said, stood still and just watched it. If it was on target, that would have gone into the top corner for 1-0. Milinkovic, Savic into Pogba, got loads of space in front of him, going to play it into Lukaku, back into Pogba, Lukaku onto his left foot, it's luckily going to fall here to Milinkovic, Savic, Fred, back to Milinkovic, Savic, try and get it up to Pogba, first time finish from the Frenchman, and Lanzini once again gets in the way, Lanzini probably been West Ham's best player, Philippe Anderson hasn't been in the game whatsoever, neither is Anatovic, and I think that is going to be crucial to us keeping them off the score sheet, keeping Philippe Anderson and Anatovic off the ball. And it's a decent pass into Pogba, but for some reason it just went past him. But with one possession back, right, Lukaku into Fred, out to Martial, who hasn't really been in this game, to be honest. Overlap from Luke Shaw. Going to try and whip it across to Paul Pogba. It's a very good delivery. It's up in the air. Keeper's coming, and he's going to collect. And I think that's going to wrap up the first half. We are going into half time, all square at 0-0. Sanchez short into Lanzini, back into Sanchez. It's a good start to the second half from West Ham. They're playing some brilliant football. And Altovic with the strike. And thankfully, David De Gea once again pulls off a very good save. An hour played. And the opening 15 minutes has been all West Ham. And that is the first shot of the second half from the home side. I'm going to make a couple of changes. I think we're going to bring Lozano on for Martial on the left-hand side. And I think we're going to bring Fred off for and Herrera Milinkovic Savic into Lozano oh it's a lovely scoop turn Lozano what a save from Fabianski that was going into the back of the net for 1-0 20 minutes left to play Lozano has been on the pitch for 10 minutes and that is our first shot of the second half and it comes from the substitute Jack Wilshire on the ball for West Ham into Lascelles. Little one two between the two players. And he's going to lose possession to Milinkovic Savic. Right, here we go. Lukaku into Jesse Lingard. Through the middle here to Ander Herrera. Surely Lozano is going to open the scoring one on one with Fabianski. And it's a beautiful finish into the bottom corner. He's been on the pitch for. Is it going to show me the time? He's been on the pitch for 13 minutes. And he's got the first goal of the game. West Ham nil. Manchester United a 1. West Ham playing some very good football since going 1-0 down. They've been knocking it around very, very well. 13, and as I say that, they give the ball away. That was a dreadful pass from the West Ham man. But here we go. Can we spread the play to Jesse Lingard? I think we can. Can we win it? Yes, we can. Once again, Paul Pogba. Can he control it? Into Lukaku. Now Jesse Lingard, first time to Pogba. It's beautiful play. Running through the middle. Oh, nearly made it through to Lozano. But it's a great interception, but we are still in possession. Okay, I was holding the analog stick upwards, and it goes to the right. It goes forward instead of up. Oh, my God, that is so frustrating. That is so frustrating. But 10 minutes left to play. I really want to grab a second goal because I think if West Ham continue playing like they have been since going 1-0 down, they could grab a goal themselves. So here we go. Luke Shaw on the left-hand side. No one in the box, but Lukaku's making a run. Does get blocked. Are we going to keep possession? Nope. West Ham are going to come away with the ball and hoof it upfield. But once again, we do intercept very, very easily. Right. Into and Herrera. Left-hand side is Lozano, the goal scorer. Overlap from Luke Shaw. Okay. Very, very slow. 
But now into Pogba, going to try and get it onto his right foot. Pogba with the long-range strike. And it's a very good save from Fabianski. Four minutes left, the player to try and hold on to this 1-0 lead. Jesse Lingard, edge of the box, is delicked. A long-range strike from the centre-back. Wow, once again, Fabianski pulls off a very good save. What a strike from the young defender. Was it going in? I think it was going top bins. It's a beautiful strike. A little bit more into the corner. I don't think Fabianski would have saved that, to be honest. A couple of minutes left in the game. And we get another corner. Lingard with it. It's a very good delivery. But once again, Fabianski gets in the way. Only as far as Baye is sat up so nicely. But once again, Fabianski getting in the way to keep the score at 1-0. With seconds left to play in this match. The three points have been wrapped up. It's another win and a very good performance to go with it as well. Lozano, that man right there, coming onto the pitch to make the difference with a very good finish to secure the win. And if it wasn't for Fabianski, it definitely would have been more than just the one goal. But the win is all that matters. So after picking up another three points in the Premier League, seven wins out of seven. Scoring 10, conceding one, picking up, of course, 20 one points. Liverpool in second on 17 points. Man City in third. Leicester completing the top four. Bournemouth, Fulham, Burnley had pretty decent starts to the season. Spurs still rock bottom. Still rock bottom after seven games. No wins, two draws and five losses. Scoring only four goals, conceding ten. That is absolutely insane as you can see in the next episode we have another champions league game against valencia is it away or is it at home it's at home we're at home to valencia to kick off the next episode and then we end it again at home but this time in the premier league against newcastle so that is going to wrap up today's episode guys i hope you enjoyed it and i hope to see you in the next one thanks so much for watching guys have an amazing day peace